What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Daily Misfire. We're gonna walk to the dually real quick because I want to show you something kind of cool. So I don't think I've shown it on the YouTube channel aside from shorts. So if you haven't seen one of the shorts, you don't know that this dually has fuel injection on it now. So real quick, it has a 600 horsepower Go EFI system on it on the 454 with an inline pump on it because it's easy and simple. So before we do anything, I need the Nova here at some point, but I can get started without it. So first off, I want to give a huge shout out to Treadwear for supplying what I'm going to be doing today. Um, if you don't know who they are, they have that really cool charger that's on the bottom and then they have that truck on the top. Um, and they do a whole bunch of stencils. They do a lot of pretty cool stuff, uh, stencils for tires and stuff, including this one right here. So that is what's going to be going on the back of the car. And after talking with the guy, we decided to run that is what's going to be on the front tires. So background, these guys do a lot of cool car builds and stuff, and they do uh, decals and stuff. If you actually look at uh, Cleanus McFarland, they help, they sponsor him too. Um, and they're sponsoring me with these, so I didn't buy these. They gave them to me, which was super cool. Um, these are going to be on the rear tires to kind of be a better stencil than what um, Hoosier puts on the tires originally. And then that's what's going to go on the front. So talking with the guy, we were kind of going back and forth on what we could do and kind of be keeping it nostalgic without being kind of too corny with putting something on the front. Um, and we came up with the Eliminator, which is the class I'm going to be running, and then ET, which is a bracket. So that's what's going to be going on the front tires. And that's on the, front, on the rear. So I am going to get... The Hoosiers over here, and I may have to go to the store to get paint. I'm not sure. I don't know. How to, I don't know if I have gloss paint or not. But I'll show you guys how to use this and how to put them on, and I, it looks pretty simple. So I'm gonna get going. Go we'll bring those tires over here. See if I have paint, and then we'll go from there. So first things first, what I'm gonna do is just lay this over and kind of like get the general idea. Cause I haven't used these yet, so you're gonna use them for the first time, like I'm using it. So. So that's kind of the layover what it's going to do. And then I'll use these guys, which are the we'll stick them on the tire itself to hold, to hold this onto the tire. And then that will keep it nice and tight and make it look good. And then I'll take this outside and then we'll shoot it and then we'll pull it off and see what it looks like. So that's the plan. So I'm going to stick those on there real quick and we'll see what it comes out looking like when they're all stuck to the tire. There you go. That was very hard. But there you go. So that's what it looks like with the little stickums on it. And those are super easy to put on. Um, and then I put them on this, so we'll see if that's the right way to do it. I don't know. I would assume it probably is, because then I can just peel it off and then put it on that side. And maybe the adhesion will, you know, be a little bit less on that side, but at least it'll still help somewhat. Um, I think the yeah. They gave me two of them, so maybe do put one on each side and then uh, basically do like each tire. That's probably what I'll do. So I'll put that one on real quick. 
um, and then we'll put it out there and we'll shoot it real quick and see what it looks like. So hopefully I have white paint. I think I do. I still haven't looked yet. I think it's in this box. That looks like white paint. Yes, yes it is. Cool. Hopefully that's enough. But yeah, so we'll put that one on and then we'll go from there. I think the majority of whatever fails right now, or how poor this looks, is going to be due to the operator, not because of the tool. If we're going to be quite honest with myself here. I'm going to try to be as straight as I can on it. Bam. We'll let that dry real quick and you'll hit that just a little bit more. Bam. Now I gotta debate whether or not I just pull it right off or and then like clean up the letters around it or let it dry. I think I'm gonna pull them off and clean it up. So we're gonna set you guys down right here. See if y'all don't fall or any hand. Oh, that looks way better. And I thought I did a crappy job on it. I was like, I don't think I taped off very well. Oh, that is so much better than from the factory. So you can see where Hoosier painted on them. And you can see how good of a line this is. You can see the overspray right here, and that's due to your uh, user, because this one's way better. Look at that one. So I can totally clean up like this stuff right here with some WD-40 and make that tire look prime. That's cool. I want to go do the other one. Let me go grab it. All right, well, now I'm all about this. So, and this one looks really bad. Like, the overspray on this one's mighty bad. So, now I'm going to time myself and we're going to do this whole thing. I'm going to time lapse it and you get to see how long it takes me to do it. So, let's get to this. Five minutes exactly we got through that whole process and I was a combination of a little off on this one and them being really off so it looks kind of uh, a little bit bigger on that side however saying that I mean it's hard to complain about that that's awesome so and super simple in like five minutes and that beats me literally because how I would do this before I was out spray into the you know the lid of the can of the spray can and I'll go with a brush <laughs> and I would trace out every letter and it would take me like half an hour to do that. Just so I had decent letters. I did that like two or three times, you know, a year. Mostly before like big events because I didn't want to have like yellowed out wheels or tires. And you're like, you don't want to look homeless, like homeless race car when you're out there. So this is going to make that way easier to have to deal with. So that's really cool. Yeah, I'll wait for my dad to get home and then we'll put the ET Eliminator uh, 
stencils and the front wheels and we'll do those and then the whole car will be done. So they'll be ready to roll. And then tomorrow we'll work on, cause today's Thursday night. So we'll work on packing Friday and then Saturday night we're leaving. So we're gonna go to Darlington on Saturday night. So yeah, a lot of stuff happening all at once and you're gonna see a horde of videos coming out. Like I'm gonna try to do a daily video during drag week, like do a video every day. Um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's the goal. So with that being said, I gotta get to work and get those other ones done. And you'll see that here right now. There it is. I think that looks pretty good. We'll go to the other side. I think that's the look we were going after, that, that 60s streetcar look. And there's the Hoosiers right there. Very cool stuff. So, if you want any kind of stencil like those or anything, go check out Treadwear. They're pretty cool guys. I talked to one of the owners. He was super cool. Helped me figure out that. He basically helped me brainstorm that because I had no idea what to put on the front tires at all. And I was a little apprehensive at first, I gotta admit, but that looks pretty sweet. I can't wait to see it outside. So, if you want to have that kind of stuff, go check them out. I'll link them in the description below. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Be sure to like and subscribe, and be ready for the onslaught of content that's going to happen like the next week and a half.